Hey guys, long time no see. I think it's been six months. Yeah, um, but that's okay because today we're going to be following a Bob Ross painting. I know you might be thinking, and if you're not, it's fine. Um, John Marie, I don't see a canvas. Um, I have this rock and I was gonna paint the rock and it was just gonna be a fun project and I was like, you know what? Let's try following a Bob Ross painting but on a rock instead. I've seen people do it on their walls. I've seen people do it on canvases, um, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody try to do it on a rock. So, I mean, original content, kind of. All right, so I have quite the setup here and I honestly don't know how this is gonna go um, because I'm a noob when it comes to editing and all that other good stuff. I also barely got ready for this, as in terms of my face and my hair and um, all of that good stuff. There is going to be a glare on my glasses the whole time, but I need them to see, so I'm sorry. Right, okay. So, I have my rock. Um, as you know, we're all in quarantine right now, so I couldn't go out and buy supplies. So the paintbrushes that I have, I'm just gonna have to work with it because this is all we got, baby. I have one, two, three, four. I have six brushes to work with, and they're all fairly small. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm really not sure how this is gonna go. It's probably gonna be a major fail. Um, but that's okay. Um, I have some just acrylic paints that my friend gave me like maybe two years ago. Shout out to you, Melissa. Thank you because you're making this happen right now. So shout out to you. Um, same thing with all these over here. Just some random colors that I got from her. Um, and then I don't have like the thingy to hold all of the paint on. Um, I only have these two wooden blocks. So that's what we're going to use. Um, yeah, all right, let's try to do this now. I have my phone that's gonna be hopefully recording what I'm doing. I'm watching the tutorial on my computer. I'm gonna try to screen record it and then put it in the video and editing, but I don't know how that's gonna work. So we're gonna, we'll see. This is video editing John Marie, and yeah, no, it didn't work, so yeah. sorry. You'll probably hear slash see my dogs in the back. Um, that's just it. I'm Bob Ross. I'd like to welcome you to the 21st Joy of Painting series. If this is your first time with us, let me extend a personal invitation for you to drag out your little paint brushes and some paints and, and paint along with us each show. Okay, here's the thing. Um, we're gonna, apparently I was supposed to paint something black on the bottom beforehand. Um, we're not gonna do that. Also, please, for the love of God, don't give me shit about my very dark hands. I just self-tanned, like yesterday and it looks good everywhere else but as you guys know the hands are just always fuck i don't have any water damn it so as everybody and their mom knows which i should have done beforehand our man bob ross always starts off with some white so i feel like i need to shake this thing up it hasn't been opened in i don't know how long the last time my friend used it i guess so oh that's quite chunky Oh, that's some chunky, chunky paint. Oh, that's so chunky. That's okay. We're going to work with it anyways. Oh, that's pretty. That looks almost like milk. Please work yellow. Oh my god. Did anybody else ever play with that, like, I don't know how, I don't know, I don't remember what it was called. It was like this, like, really gross but it always smelled so good to me <laughs> okay um i think it's as much yellow as i can get out um it was like this really gross stuff that came in like a tube like this and you got like a straw with it and it was pink oh no I'm oh no and we'll start we just do some little x's little crisscross strokes okay, we'll and we work all the way across the top okay 
pull just a little bit work it into the bristles like he said we pulled just a little bit liquid white and it creates all those beautiful variations that we want let me put a little more color on the brush here yeah me too bob there we go let's start at the top and work down and that way our sky will get progressively lighter toward the horizon and that's exactly what we're looking for Okay, that's good, that's good. To do to make a very, very basic little sky. Now let's build us a little mountain. I like mountains. Me too, We'll take some black, a little Prussian blue, some alizarin crimson, and we just mix those together. I'll even put a little Van Dyke brown there just to dull it down, so. Oh God. We have to make our first major decision in this painting. Where, where does our mountain live? Okay, hold on, I need to go back and see what colors he grabbed again, because honestly, I don't remember. Okay, this was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. All right, so. Any color to me. So light. Sometimes I like to do this with a gray color. It looks like stones and rocks. And oh, this looks like shit. Yeah. Blue at the top. What the heck? A little more blue there. God, I see why everyone gets so stressed out about the snow. Nice shadow color. Now, this shadow color should be lighter than the base color that you put on your mountain, but certainly darker than your highlights. You He's making me believe in myself, but like fuck. Two. Just let that run mm -hmm. the right down. Oh, little God. Projections. If it goes right over How? Oh. Do you have to make these big decisions? Oh, God, Bob. I don't know how to make these decisions. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know how the fuck Bob does what he does. It's wild, right? So we're just gonna kind of make our own rules. Honestly, this looks kind of good. Like, not like that good, but like, but like, not bad. Sure. We're gonna go with that. He also did something to make it like really, oh, what am I doing? Really misty. And so I am going to get into here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do the same mist effect because I kind of fucked up, but we'll see. Just a big old mountain here. Lift gently upward and upward. All of the angles in the mountain. And that removes the little tap marks and brings it all oh, together. Okay, I'm gonna way too much paint on my brush. brush. And very lightly, little short strokes. I want to grab that and lift upward. Just lift it upward, upward, upward. And sort of let it blend together a little. I'm not 100% sure if I want my mountains to have trees on them or not because I don't want to fuck it up even more and I won't be able to blend it that much already because my paint's already drying, so yeah. It's a nice way of making very effective little trees that are growing up the side of this mountain. I just look for reasons to wash the brush. Beat the devil out of it, Bob. Yeah, dude. Right. I'm using like a metallic gold for my yellow because my yellow was completely dried out um, and was not working one single bit, so we're just gonna improvise and we're just gonna have a nice shiny metallic yellow that's all bob i think would be proud of my decision so tap yep. down with a fan brush this is one of the neatest ways that i've ever come up with making the illusion of a lot of little trees that live far away So he is a little bit farther ahead than me, but I am just adding the mist onto my trees as best as I can. Honestly, I'm not 100% hating this. It's not too bad. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. Okay. Oh, my taller trees. Okay, so we need some black, which I have right there, and some green. 
he said it should be basically black but to have a little bit of green in it so you can still see that it's supposed to be trees okay so we're gonna do his like fancy ass trees that he does super quick i don't have a fan brush so we're just gonna be using the same square brushes that we have been this whole time i make this one into like a fan brush what are those hacks that you always see on like five minute crafts where they just fucking, how do they do that? Honestly, I might try to finesse this a little tiny bit. Okay, so he starts off with like a line. I should go. And then I'm gonna try and just kind of hold this brush like this and do the same effect. Oh God, that's terrible. Okay, he said. Oh shit, I made a tree. Fuck yeah. Okay, now just like Bob said, we're gonna give that tree some friends. This one's like a really big one, so I'm gonna try and do the other one like a little bit thinner. There we go again, making a thick ass line. We're also just gonna have kind of different trees than Bob, but that's okay because his world is on a canvas and our world is on a rock. So it's okay. This method is kind of working out. Okay. Just finishing up our trees. I keep making them way too thick. Bob would say otherwise. I don't have as much room on my rock. It is fun to prepare this canvas when nobody's looking. And when you do this, especially if you're painting for someone, they think it's magic. How do you do that? It's just straight liquid white. Okay. And then just a bunch of this down here. Obviously, mine looks nothing like Bob Ross's, but just like he says, that's not what he's here to do. He's here to show you the techniques, not for you to copy exactly what he has. So let's keep that in mind before I show all of you what my beautiful rock landscape looks like. All right, let me finish creating my rocks here. And this is, of course, more towards like the bottom of my rock anyway, so it kind of just looks like garbage, honestly. So I'm just going to kind of like mix in this brown and black on here. All right. Um, I mean, I guess I'm technically done. I kind of hate it, uh, to be honest with you. Well, um, I guess that is it. I've learned a few things today. One, you can't expect the same results from a canvas onto a rock because they're very different. And I think that was my first mistake. Second, I've learned that I should probably get some new paint. And I've learned that Bob Ross is a magic man, which I already knew beforehand because I've already seen these videos, but like, excuse me, but like 
that's like a whole nother level of what, what Bob Ross is on. And granted, I don't have the same tools. But, yeah, I don't know. That was, um, that was a fun experience. I guess I'll show you my finished, bam, we're nice boys out here. Hey, we're nice boys. So, yeah, um, I guess I'll, yeah, show you my finished, well, that's kind of fun. Oh, God. Did you even paint if you don't have paint all over your hands? I guess not. Yeah, okay, I'm done. I'll show you what my rock looks like now. Um, I was originally planning on taking it back down to the river where I found it and just kind of like placing it in there and hoping someone will find it and it'll be like a cute like community thing. Um, but I don't know if I want anyone to see this monstrosity that I made. So let me know what you think I should do with it. Um, all right, yeah, let me, let me show you what my rock looks like. All right. So, okay, on camera, it looks so much better. So yeah, that's my finished, this is my failed water, but I think right there it looks honestly not that bad. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, watching me want to rip my hair out as I paint. It's been a while since I've painted, so that was a lot of fun. Um, if you want to see more content like this, please drop a like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment letting me know what I should try and paint next. If I should follow another Bob Ross, if I should paint on a canvas like a normal person, um, or just overall what the hell I should do. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Have a safe quarantine and try some new shit out.